Hi, it's Lisa from A Simple Season. Thanks so much for joining in. I have a few things on the go today that I want to share with you, but I want to start today off with a recipe. And the one I'm going to make is a crock pot recipe. So I have the day free to work on some of my projects. And it's out of this slow cooker cookbook from Gooseberry Patch. And I'll show you which one we're going to make. And the one I'm going to try, it's called crock o brats So it looks really good. So I'm going to give it a go and see how it turns out. But I'm we're gonna have a delicious meal for supper. I've heated up about a tablespoon or so of oil over medium heat and I put my, my bratwurst sausage in and I'm just cooking it for about five minutes, turning it so that it's nice and brown on all sides. And we're gonna save those drippings and we're gonna cut these up into about one inch pieces and add them to our crock pot with our other ingredients. This is everything I'm gonna be putting in my crock pot meal for tonight. This is the sausage I've just browned. I have one onion chopped, one apple chopped. This is about two cups of sauerkraut. Um, it calls for a quarter cup of brown sugar, but I've just made my own brown sugar. So this is just a quarter cup of white sugar and I added a little bit of molasses, about a half a teaspoon half a teaspoon of salt, and here I just have three chopped potatoes. And now we're just gonna combine everything into the crock pot. So now we'll put the lid on the crock pot and we're going to turn it on high and it's gonna cook for four to six hours until the potatoes are done and it's gonna be delicious. Now I'm sure there's gonna be something here I can't live without. It looks like they've got a few red pepper starts here, so I'm gonna pick up a few to put in my garden. And all the roses were half price at Costco, so I could not resist getting one. I think I only paid about $10 for this, and it looks beautiful. So this is the variety, it's called Pink Pavement, and it is hardy to zone three. So that means it will stay resilient up to minus 40 degrees, which is fabulous. So I've picked off a bunch of the leaves and what will happen is the lettuce plants will regrow these leaves so you can harvest and come again. And here's my little pantry prep for this week. This is about 20 pounds of pinto beans that I got on sale for $2 a bag. I got some dehydrated mashed potatoes, which are awesome to thicken up soups, or you can make them into mashed potatoes or add them to your own mashed potatoes. They're so convenient to have. I have a big bag of skim milk powder, which I've been using in my coffee every morning. Some corn syrup. I got a few packages of this Goya Mexican rice. If you've never tried this before, wow, it is so good. And I have three packages of cookie mix. Normally we make cookies from scratch, but these are really convenient to have if you just want something quick, you want to take something over to a neighbor, and this, these are fabulous. I've got a package of Italian seasoning, and then a bottle of Mrs. Dash some red split lentils here and then this is a great value soup mix which is really really good on the back of this container there's a really easy recipe and all you do is you just add some garlic a can of tomatoes some beef or chicken broth chop up an onion and it makes a really really good soup and i also picked up some sauces just two of the general Tao 
and a teriyaki and some banana sauce. So this is something I've never tried before, but a lot of people use this as a substitute for ketchup with french fries, and they say it's really, really good, so I'm excited to try that. And these ones I just used uh, for stir fries. I'm already starting to think about winter time, so we picked up one of these Presto heat dishes. We got one of these last year and kept it in our kitchen, and the, our electricity bill didn't really go up that much at all. Uh, this one runs, I think, on a thousand watts, whereas most other heaters will run at about 1500, but that's a thousand watts if you keep it on full. We normally keep it on the halfway mark, so that'll be about 500 watts, but it really kept our kitchen warm, so we got another one for the living room, or maybe we'll bring it downstairs. And this is how our crock pot meal turned out. And the flavor is just so lovely with the sausage, the onion, the apple in there. The combination is really, really good. Sweet and salty and so flavorful. Here's a sweet little bumblebee collecting pollen from my flowers. It's good to focus on what's important. And you know what? You're important. And it's good to keep that in mind and remember that because without you, the world just would not be the same and you touch more people's lives than you realize. Take care everyone and we'll see you next time.